Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your EV800Ds. Now if you wanted to see the EV800s, that was the previous video. In this video we're doing the D version. Now a lot of people also said that the internal receivers were so good that they don't want to really ruin it. So I figured out a separate way to do this without touching any of the internal modules and have it working exactly the same way it was. And all we need to do is just add three single wires and you get a fat shark module added and you can switch back between the internal receivers as well as the fat shark module and you can easily power it on once the goggle powers up it does power up the fat shark module which is really nice which was something that was requested and right now we're actually seeing the video feed from the fat shark module and if I were to go ahead and unplug the module itself you'll see that the feed will actually go away oh no so that's something nice and if you wanted to go back to the internal just change the source and now we're reading off of the diversity module inside so it's really nice so all you need to do is just set up it it'll be on AV input from the source menu and once the goggle is powered off it'll also turn off the fat shark module so enough talking let's just jump to it hi guys and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing the EV800D mod video. Now what we're going to do with this mod is going to be slightly different than the previous one. With the EV800s what we did was we killed the internal receiver to have the Fat Shark module work. However this one we can totally access the AV input and the reason why I don't want to kill the internal receiver on this is because a lot of people say that the internal receiver out of the box is absolutely phenomenal. So then you might say well then why the hell would you want to do this mod? Well, now we have 1.3 gigahertz. We have 2.4 gigahertz um, receivers and transmitters for the video. So this is one reason why you would do it. Another reason, if you wanted to go ahead and try out those clear view stuff and everything else, and um, you just want to, you know, just go along with the trend basically, and you want to test out these little modules. So they're really nice to, to use. Um, I'm not really a module reviewer type of guy, but yeah, I'm just doing the mods here. So. Let's get started. Now, what are we going to need for this? Well, we're going to need a couple things. Obviously, a Fat Shark module. We're going to need the AV800Ds. And we will need three wires with JSD connectors. Now, I'll leave a link to everything here down below so you can go ahead and check those out, as well as the soldering iron that I'm using if you are curious. So, let's get started. All right, so first things first, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and remove these four screws. Once that's done, you just pull the top right off, just like this. This is going to be a very quick mod, very, very quick mod. So, we removed that ahead. And now we're going to have to remove the screen as well as the battery bay. Now I have gone ahead and already unplugged the battery. It's a bit stiffer than the previous uh, EV800, so I don't know if you have both. So yeah, just take that into consideration. It's pretty hard to pull out. So pull that out first before you do anything. And then you have to pull these two boards up together. There's really nothing holding them but friction. And uh, just the spacers, the plastic spacers. So you just pull that up and you have your board. Now be careful, make sure you keep them together so you don't rip this ribbon cable here. Because if you do, you're screwed. Alright, so next step is we are going to go ahead and remove the screen. We just pull these little black dots here, uh, just little plastic pieces, just slightly. One of them already broke with me, so very slowly, and then just uh, go ahead and pull this off. You don't use much force. If you're using a lot of force, then you're doing something wrong here. As you can tell, see, mine already broke, so you don't want to break both sides here. Alright, so let's move that to the side. Alright. So what are we going to do here? Well, I'm going to make this video very short and simple. And the previous video, everybody was saying, why didn't I go through the internal circuit? So when I powered it on, it powered everything, including the module. On the previous 800 EV800, what I did was is connected it directly to the battery. So, you know, it was once you connect this, it boots up. So some people didn't like that. So that's what we're going to do here. So a couple things to take note of here. Now, this one is this one comes with a 7.4. Uh, volt battery which is a 2s battery so there has to be hopefully somewhere 5 volts on this board because these take 5 volts and all we need are three wires video ground and power so let's get started so here we go we have yellow wire for video and we're gonna have ground for black obviously and we're gonna have red for power now as you can tell the red is a little bit longer because there's a reason for that and I'll show you in a little bit so what we want to do first, you want to go ahead and grab your power. I think this will actually put probably been too, a bit too big maybe for this setup. Oh, no, okay. You want to find your AV in, which is the bigger hole here. And we're going to start just putting in the wires that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. And here's the ground. Because that's where everything's going to pop out from. So 
There we go. I should have put this in first. So let's just pull this guy. All right, there we go. All right, so we have these guys in. And uh, we'll work with these, and then we'll bring the video in in a little bit. So first things first, where we want to get power is through this board is from this diode. Hey guys, this is Drone Mesh from the future. You want to kind of ignore this step right now. We're not going to be taking power from this diode. We're actually going to be taking it from the coil to the left of the diode from the upper pad. Uh, the reason for that is when you take it from this diode, the Fat Shark module sucks so much current that the board just keeps... Uh, uh, resetting itself so just ignore this step continue with every other step and then we're gonna see in a little bit where the power wire actually goes which is like I mentioned to the coil to the left of it and I'm I do apologize about that guy so carry on right there so let me just actually fix up the camera real quick just so we can get better views here all right so what we want to do first we want to go ahead and grab our power which is coming in through the AV input and we want to just solder it right over here so let's go ahead and do that and again, my soldering iron is in standby mode. So this is this place is pretty stable. It's around uh, 4.6 to 5 volts most of the time. So this is where I really like it. Plus, it's with the integrated power circuit. So when you press the boot button, I mean, when it's off, there's no power here. And once you boot it up, you get power. So you can keep this always connected and not worry about ruining your battery or over draining your battery. So let's go ahead and set this up like so. All right, so that seems to be into place, which is really nice. So now we have five volt ready. All right, so next step is ground. Now we could take ground from anywhere we really, we would just like to. For example, we could take ground from one of these side ones here, and uh, we could also take ground from this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. See which one is the ground pad. So how do we know which one's ground on this? Well, very simple. You get your multimeter, put it in continuity mode and which is the beep mode so basically when you touch the two probes together they're gonna beep like this you see and then this is obviously ground and the shielding is always ground so you can see those are grounded so now we can just touch this and then touch the pins on the AV in input right here and then try to figure out which one's ground so ground's probably it's probably gonna be on the other side here so this is still ground for me and we're just gonna just double check Let's see so that was ground. This is going to be the video. So this is ground here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get to because I don't think this uh, bar right here is ground. I think this is video. Yeah. Let's see? Yeah, this is the video. So we probably put the video there. And again, we could take ground from anywhere. So, hmm. Let's see. Let's keep the wire as close as possible to this area. So I'm going to go ahead and ground it here with the, uh, with the ground of the antenna. Should be just fine shouldn't be any issues so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna add a little bit of solder first just to freshen up the solder so it sticks a little bit better all right I'll just add some solder on the soldering iron here and clean it up okay there we go very nice now let's grab our little ground wire. Now, if you have tweezers, I'd highly recommend you use tweezers. Depending on the wire, you could ruin the wire with some tweezers. So we're going to try to go ahead and do this by hand right now. So we're just going to ground it right there. There's many trillion places to ground this wire, but I'm choosing right here. Okay. So there we go. That's grounded. Let's pull the wire and just make it a little bit neater. All right, beautiful. Now we have power. All right, so let's go ahead. Should we test first? Hmm, we'll see right now. We'll figure it out. All right, now we need video. Video is going to be obviously important, which is gonna be this yellow wire. And I'm also gonna put it in. Nicely, there's a little hole on the other side so we can go ahead and do such a thing here. So let's just grab this wire. So this is going to be the video wire, and the video is right there. So this is going to be the, on the AV in, and that's what we're trying to do here. We're going to set this up on AV in, all clean. This is easily reversible, and uh, there's no issues. You didn't damage anything, and there's nothing permanent. You just got to remove these wires, and everything's back to normal if you ever wanted to sell it or do anything else with it. So right now I'm looking for a little, there we go, some tweezers, and we're going to go ahead and solder it to that inner pin right there which is that side right there. And I'm just double checking. Yes, it's going to be it. So we're gonna solder it to that pin, that little pad. There's two pads there, but the one that's 
far out here. So let's add some solder first, actually. Okay. Which is that one right here. Okay. And then we're just going to come in here and then just going to touch this guy. We want to solder it right there. <clears throat> okay that should be in beautiful all right so now we have our wires for our what is it called fat shark module so we have ground we have video we should have everything so hopefully this will work go ahead and connect the screen be very careful remember I broke mine so I have to be extra cautious here all right guys so I've gone ahead and charged up the battery and while it was charging and not charging what I figured out is we had it in kind of the wrong place because it's sucking too much amperage and actually causing the board itself to reboot so I had to figure out a different place for it so if we take a look here we had it installed right there so let's just go ahead and take a look we had it installed right here and as it was booting up, the, 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 the fat track module was sucking up so much power that it was just not allowing the electricity to pass through the rest of the board, thus causing it to reset. So what I had to do is figure out a different way. Here we had around 4.2 volts or something. Here we had around 4.8 volts. So if we put it here, it'll still keep resetting. But if you have it set up here, because this is the circuit on its way through to come down here. So this is the best place to have it set up right there, which is this little coil and on this side of it. Make sure you take note of which side. This is gonna be the positive for the uh, Fat Shark module and then everything will work just perfect. Everything else is exactly the same. Uh, all we had to do is just change out this wire here. So let's go ahead and test this out. So first I thought it was okay, maybe the because the battery was basically dead. So maybe it was the battery that's not allowing it to work and all these things and it turns out it wasn't. So, all right. Let's go ahead and install the battery here. Just making sure I installed it correctly. Okay. So we have our battery connected and now we're going to boot up the board, which is the goggle. Okay. It's booting up. This should be on A2 and I'll connect the quad right now. So we need to see AV, which is perfect. All right. So currently, cause it's not getting any signal, it's reading the static as a blue screen. Let's connect the quad copter and see what happens. So that's perfect. And um, if we wanted to double check this, what you have to do is you go to source and that's the diversity. And we go to source, RFB, RFA. You can even choose one for each channel, which is really crazy. And then AV input. And uh, just to prove it again, just in case nobody thinks this is true, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the video cable right there. And it's written AV. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it back. It might cause it to crash, but you know, or it just works perfect. And there we go. That's how you mod it. So let's go ahead and put this up together and then take it from there. All right, guys. So now it's time to put this bad boy together. So we have this connected. So make sure you connect your LCD. And I'm just going to go ahead and unplug my Fat Shark module. Now, again, this is useful for a lot of things if you wanted to try a different Fat Shark module. It's a really simple mod and it's easily reversible. So, and it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could solder to that side, solder to that thing, and solder it right there and it should be totally good. All right, so what we want to do is we want to flip them together like so. Now, make be careful not to plug in the battery. This thing is absolutely conductive, and let me show you this. Um, so basically, maybe you had it on and it, you dropped it. It'll short circuit if they touch each, if something touches, because you do have a circuit on the back side here. See that? That's conductive. So take that into consideration. So we want to make sure the battery's out. We bring it in, and we're going to go ahead and install this in like so beautiful and then make sure we align the board here now we don't really have to worry about wires because they're going through the AV in right there so I'm just gonna make sure it's pinching my battery wire here all right is that in seems nice it's really close I really don't like how close that thing is all right so let's just take a better view here okay so now the screens in place and all we need to do is just reconnect the battery here. That's it. And then here's our wires. So let's just go ahead and do that. You want to make sure when you're tucking it in, 
not to block any of those screw holes. And this is going to be in through the AV, out through the AV part. So when we plug this guy in together, oh, that's it. We're done. Just that simple. So let's go ahead and make a test run. Yeah. All right. So the way you do this now, if you wanted to connect a module, is you would find VCC, which is the top pin for me, because it's labeled on this one. They're all on the same layout, but you need to know which side is the VCC. And you can do that by figuring out which one's ground. All right, I'll put the video. This wire is crap, so I have to push it in. There we go. All right. It's not going to be the same wire that I'm going to link down below this. I just found it hanging around. So you could obviously figure something really nice for this, like a way to mount it. Just probably double-sided tape would even just hold it into place right there, which is really nice. So I'm going to put this up here. Make sure this doesn't touch anything because you could short, short something out possibly. All right, so now let's just power up the goggle. Beautiful, absolutely awesome. And now, oh, I left the quad on. So what are we on? We are on AV. I don't know if you could read that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. So yeah, so that's nice. All right, so, okay. And if we wanted to switch source, so where we go, source. Now we're on the diversity, as you can read. And this is the RFB, which is one of the modules inside. RFA, which is another module inside, which is really nice. If there are two people flying, you can switch. This is really cool. Um, I didn't know this this goggle actually had that. And now we're on AV, which is A2 right here. And as you can tell, just to prove concept, so we're on diversity. Let's go ahead and uh, put on the correct channel, which is A2. And we'll just hold this. A2. Now this is on diversity mode, so which is really nice. And then we just go back here. Now we're on AV mode, which is this guy. And just to prove it again, we'll disconnect this guy and watch the feed go away. There we go. AV. Beautiful. That's it. It's just that simple. Three wires. I really like this goggle. Um, I don't know if you could record via SD just yet, but I'll be testing out in the field. And I'm very curious to really test this guy out. Uh, this is a really cool ground station. You could use it to testing your little fast shark modules if you wanted. Um, you can just buy like a couple of these, put them next to each other, and then, I mean, if you have the cash to do that and the time to do that, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but overall, really nice. So the module does boot up when the goggle boots up, and it does turn off when the goggle turns off. So it's also a uh, requested uh, option uh, from my previous video. So, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a very simple video, very easy to set up. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed this content. Please let me know down in the comment section, what's the next goggle you want to see? I know some people are saying the Eosheen VR D2 Pro. I will contact Banggood, but leave that comment down in the section below so it'll give me a better probability of getting it in for modding. And um, yeah, if you guys like this content, please leave a like. And please consider joining my Patreon. Really support the channel. Dollar two a month can go an absolute long way. And I do a lot of giveaways there. And uh, you can also check out my shop. I have a lot of cool things there sometimes. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.